Hey everyone, how are you doing today? It's me, Jen, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to I make my mug designs and post them to my Etsy store from start to finish. So, this may be a one, two, or three video series. We will find out, okay? So, let's get started right now, and I will show you what I do. Alright, well in today's video, I'm going to use Canva. So let's go there, and to make my designs, I always start out with a 1500 by 1500 pixels. So that's just what I do. Now create the image, and I already have an idea in mind, so let's just get to that. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I cough, I'm sorry, I do not feel good today, so... Okay, so we are going to make a design. We're going to use this flower. And we're going to... Right there. Get straight as possible and move it. All the way as far as you, it will let you. Just move it out a little, okay? almost to the edge and then resize it to the you resize it whatever size you want this is just how I do it all right and there's that now we're gonna add text and we're gonna do that right now um, right here and just click on this and let's resize it to 120 Seems to be a good size to start out with. All right, I'm gonna put in, and every word I do a different box. See, I copy it, and then I just keep putting my quote in there in every box. Okay, in a. world and you could do that copy up a top left uh, top right I mean There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the quote I'm going to use is, in a world full of sunflower, I mean, roses, in a world full of roses be a sunflower. So we're just going to position those. Just real quick. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so I have these all at 120. You could you could resize, you could move. So we'll put in a we'll make world. Maybe let's see, 160. That seems a little big. Let's change a few fonts. Let's see. Which one do I want? Or world I want here. This one looks good. We'll do that. Yeah. Do roses and sunflower in there. Just switch it up a little. So let's move this up. Kind of position. <coughs> Excuse me. You can position them however you like. Okay, yeah, I kind of like that, so 
Let's make, yeah, let's leave it that size, so. We'll do this one right there. Okay. Maybe I'll even make the sunflower just a little bit smaller and make room. Maybe I'll do that. I just need it a little smaller. Okay, there we go. That looks better. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe a little bit more over. Just make this one a little smaller, like maybe 117. Can't really notice, so. Okay, yeah, that seemed to be better. So let's do that. Just make that. Shadow over a little bit. Shadow over a little bit. All right, now let's move it around, try to make it more even. You use your mouse, since I'm using my mouse right now, but you could also use your keyboard. If you have arrows on there, which we all do, then you could just use those. All right. Okay, it could be a little bit bigger in the lettering, I think. So let's do 130 to 130. <coughs> we'll make the world 140. Yeah, there we go. Let's get some of the space. Just make it a little bigger. Play around with it. Excuse me. Let's make the sunflower just a little bit smaller. Okay. Okay, sunflower, let's say 135. Still a little big, so let's do one. 32. Let's do 130. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's do these 125. I want them to be all the same. I want certain words to stick out a little bit. All right, yeah, that looks good. Now let's just be. Hmm. 
Not, <clears throat> excuse me, let's do it this way. Just position it until you get it just right. Let's do your sunlight. Maybe a little higher on this. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so now let's name it. I kind of like that, so I really like that, so let's do it this way. I always name it the size of the image first with the quotes. So. Okay, after you've done that, you go to this arrow button, make sure it's on PNG, and transparent background, because you have to have a transparent background. And it download. And that is the first part of this video. The second video, I'll show you how I do um, the whole thing from the image itself to putting it on the mug and putting it into your store. All right. I hope this video helps you. If it does, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I will be happy to answer them. You all have a good day, and I will see you in video number two to the series. All right. Bye, everybody.